Hey, 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 players, it's Matthias here, and I'm glad to be back. Sorry I stayed away for quite a while, guys, but let's start to play and let's start to enjoy this day. Now, last time I was a really big noob at this game, and I told you guys the difficulty level of Classic was too difficult. But I have played a bit of multiplayer, and I have play, played a bit of single player. And yes, guys, I'm here to give you guys a survival guide on how to survive this game. Now, I took Mr. William here first because I liked the way he looked. And when I played multiplayer and alone, I tried to take this tank. Uh, it looks like he's got hair on, but it looks like he's bald headed. So, guys, I'm going to go with a character that not a lot of people choose. Um, this guy is 10 minus 10% to construction costs and minus 10% to crafting costs. Okay, so maybe it might make the game a bit more difficult, might make the game a bit more easy. I don't know, but here we go. Okay, so um, I'll kick myself if I die, yeah, but okay, first things first, guys. When you start the game, you pick up everything you see, okay? You, of course, move with the normal WASD keys. You can twist the screen with E and um, Q. Look at the top, guys. You'll see a compass, all right? When that, when that arrow shows straight up, that's where you want to be, okay? Because if you press map, it's much easier to navigate the map, okay, when it's showing north. So if you change the camera to get a better view of something, just remember to change it back so that you don't get too confused, all right? So what we're going to do here, first tip to surviving this terrible game, terrible, I mean terrible at um, you know, trying to survive, is we're going to pick up everything we need to pick up. Food is extremely important. So as you see, I'm just walking around the crash right here and picking up everything I can. Hello, little rabbit. While I'm in this area, I'm just going to hit it, get a few um, stones or ore here. Okay, 20 should be fine. We go and get some wood. We've got knuckles of steel at least, at, of course. You can see we're hitting the same source of crap out of this tree. Now guys, what I'm going to be showing you is how to survive in the beginning, okay? Because on this difficulty level, that is the most important thing, is how to survive, okay? So first thing you're going to need to do is if you want to stay warm use this fire okay the the plane you use the plane to keep yourself nice and warm okay but guys if you want to make it easy for yourself do not put your camp down here you will see my hunger is going down really quickly that's where people normally die but as you can see i've got an energy bar here that i can eat immediately and i've got canned food so what i want you to do is prioritize on those items at the beginning okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to look for a location where there's a lot of wood and of course um, ore as well okay so we see here's an ore node and there are trees right around us here okay so this it's not far away and we can use the heat as a backup so what we're going to do now is we're going to build our fire which they want us to build in any case. We're gonna build our fire over here. You can see I'm dying, so all I'm gonna do now is press F to eat my energy bar. And uh, don't need to make a fire for now. So what I'm gonna do now is build my sleeping place, my shelter, which I got in that box, of course. So let's just see here. Uh, I'll put my tent up there. Okay. And then the next thing we need 
is the workshop. Okay, and I'm gonna need more wood for that. I think 40 should be ample. Get a fire going. Um, if it doesn't um, light the first time, just keep on pressing. You'll add, you'll add um, material to it. So let's um, do our workshop over here. That's not a bad location for our workshop. Okay, and what we're going to do here is at the workshop, this is basically where we're going to upgrade our skills. Okay. So you can see uh, workshops where I build everything, of course. And for now, I can only build a stick, a throwing rock, a stone axe, and a stone pickaxe. What I'm going to do first is build a stone axe. Then I'm going to do a stone pickaxe. And then I'm going to build a stick, just in case a wolf attacks us, guys. Just in case a wolf attacks us. So I'm going to take the canned meat again. Use this food to keep me going. Don't exactly know what that is. That's a hog. Don't know what that is. But um, we've got the stick. So what you do is you take the stick. You put it on the fire. And you've got a torch. Okay. And this will help to chase wolves away when they come for you. Okay. So here at your sleeping bag. You'll see you'll, ha you'll have skills. I already walked around a bit, so I can use that one. You'll see there I have a point just for walking around, okay? So we go on sprint, and now we can sprint. Very important to get away from wolves and um, to survive. And of course, this is basically for the hunting, everything you can get from animals. This is your mobility. This is your defense and your attack. Or this is basically just attack attributes. This is um, defensive attributes, and this is basically harvesting but i like to upgrade the backpack as quickly as i can to um get some more wood here yeah just to make sure i can survive as soon as you build the stone axe and the stone pickaxe you're going to press v you're going to put your your hatchet basically there your axe in the first slot and you're going to put your pickaxe in the second slot and then you can see the x there so what i like to do is i like to look at the side of my guy you can see there it looks like an axe when i press x there the point sticking out okay that's how i identify between the two between my axe and my pickaxe so i'm going to use the axe for the wood and because i've got mushrooms mushrooms has a chance of poisoning you if you eat it raw so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this time to um, basically get the mushrooms grilled here. You can see the color difference in raw mushrooms and cooked mushrooms. Um, okay, so now I can eat it. Press F again. Just stay alive. Put another mushroom on there. I've got wood to keep me alive. Uh, okay, there we've got all three of our fried mushrooms. So let's keep. Um, as you can see, I'm very close to the trees, which makes it a lot easier for me. And there I just got a gathering skill just for chopping the wood, guys. Like I said. Your mobility you get by just running around and walking around. Your uh, hunting skills go up just by hunting animals. And of course your harvesting goes up just because you're harvesting. Okay. You're doing a bit of overkill here on the trees. But I like to upgrade in the beginning. And let's just keep our food nice here so we don't have to worry about the food. Let's change to our pickaxe. Of course everything's got durability. So, um, if you want my advice, just use it till it breaks. You don't want it. You don't want uh, 
item that's not broken yet to just be lying around. And basically what I'm going to be showing you now is how to hunt a rabbit in the beginning because meat is very important and how to hunt a hog you don't want to look for trouble the you should see I'm using my first backpack slot which is very important nothing else yet i can upgrade it here so we're going to go upgrade and there you can see increases movement speed so i'm done there that's only got one point okay so i'm done there so i'm probably going to move there next you can see increases the amount of wood you gather but guys that's not by a lot okay if you pick if you use this you're probably going to chop you know and press, instead of getting three or four with one hit you're going to get one you know one point more but the backpack is very important guys you can see i've just started and my inventory is full that's why the backpack is always a priority for me now the second thing that i need to tell you guys about is a blizzard when a blizzard comes it will put out your fire eat some mushrooms again it will put out your fire quite rapidly and you're going to waste a lot of food okay so the two options that you have when a blizzard comes is go stand here you see when i stand here my heat goes up so it's always nice being close to a heat source and what we're going to do to eliminate that that the fact that your fire is going out as soon as a blizzard comes is we're going to build a furnace okay and i'm going to build it right now to, to show you guys exactly what i mean so there we're building a furnace this is basically to um make metal but we're not worried about the metal so let's just eat here I don't really like the night time because wolves tend to rule at night so I'm just going to wait for my food to get to a maximum and then I'm going to go to sleep quickly okay so I'm going to go there I'm going to sleep and I'm basically going to wait 12 a.m. I'm going to basically wait until about 6 a.m. okay or 7 a.m. see you guys now now okay brothers it's um, 6 a.m. good time to wake up and what I saw while I was sleeping was this little rabbit. There you can see that rabbit where my sword sign is. That little rabbit was just walking around here. Yeah? As if nothing in the world can bother him. So, instead of using our canned meat and taking chances, you can see this is basically for tools or weapons. This is your clothes, traps, and just special items. Okay? So, we're going to upgrade this for the for the purpose to build a rabbit trap okay that's why i chopped quite a lot of wood and that's why i got quite a lot of stone okay for that so we're going to press three so that we are there and then we're just going to get to a distance where we can see the rabbit not too close guys i think this is as close you're going to go okay and then you're going to press f put the trap down if you go too close the rabbit's going to run away okay but now you're going to move back and i hope it's not too far You want to tell me that's too far? Okay. Normally the rabbit goes into the trap automatically. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to chase him into the trap. Okay. And there we go, guys. You should see I got a hunting skill. And I chased the rabbit into the trap. Brilliant, isn't it? So now we're going to pick up the rabbit meat. And I don't know if you guys saw. We didn't get a lot of food from... Um, let me just check here. Um, let's light the fire. Don't want to take any chances, but I think we will be able to cook this meat before we're in trouble. You don't really want to linger in this area where you're close to dying, but let's take the cooked meat and eat it. You will see that the meat gives you a lot more food, guys. I had the canned meat. I wasn't in danger. I had the canned meat, but you just look at my hunger going up there. All right, so meat really helps you a lot okay now let's get to a deer okay let's keep this ball rolling for a deer you're gonna need rocks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the aurea and then i'm gonna change to my hatchet that's a good way to attack them 
just get a chance there to get some bones but we're not interested in that yet so we're gonna make throwing rocks okay every one ore you use you get two throwing rocks and I think 16 should be enough guys um, yes if I can't do it with 16 I'm gonna be a bit embarrassed but um, let's see if it works okay there's the deer I'm just gonna change my camera angle to see him a bit better there we three get oh okay that was bad guys what you need to do is you need to get two hits in every time you stun him try and get two hits in all right So we're gonna try and stun him. We can sprint now. Just be careful for wolves, guys. Please, just be careful for wolves, okay? We're gonna change the camera angle because we don't want him to run too far away from our base. Okay, very important tactic. One, two, oh, only got one shot in. And of course the trees makes it difficult. But as you can see, I'm chasing him back to my base. And uh, just wanting to relax a bit before we go ahead. One, two, there we go. Okay, just relax, relax, relax. We're not chasing you anymore. Just relax a bit. Okay. One, two. Okay, I'm going to use my canned meat because I had that as backup. As you can see, chased him nicely into our camping terrain. I can't see him now. I really hope he didn't get away from us. That would be really, really sad. Where is he? Oh, I think this is him. I can't see him. Okay, it's night. I'm close to the f I'm close to the plane, so I'm going to use that. I don't want to lose him, but I don't want to run into wolves. But yes, guys, you get the idea there. All right, one throw to stun him, hit him twice, let him relax. Don't keep on chasing him across the map. Let him get out of your view. Let him just relax a bit, and then you go for him again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my stick. Just try to get some light here on the subject. He can't be too far away. I really don't want him just to disappear. Oh, and yeah, of course, some berries. So we're going to get some berries. We'll eat it while we can as well. Get back on the rocks. And now I need to flush him. Oh, here he is, here he is. There we go, guys. Brilliant. All right, I'm going to zoom in. There you can see he's dead. And we got a bone. Remember, with our research, we got the bone. And again, just change the camera. Don't stress. You're close to the plane. You don't need to stress at all. Okay. And you can see we've got the rabbit meat. And now we've got the raw meat. And we've got the bone. We got the bone, of course, because we upgraded um, one of our skills so that the chances of dropping bone from an animal gets higher. So yes, guys, that, those are the basics, okay? Like I say, the, 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 the storm that comes really gets you cold really quickly, okay? So one way of um staying safe is when a storm comes you stand right here because the storm won't do anything and of course um uh, okay yeah and of course with this there you can see this fire goes out very slowly but it heats you up as well okay unfortunately you can't you I'm not sure. Yes, you can use this as well. Okay, sorry, I forgot about that. But yes, you can use this as well to cook your meat. Okay, 
so this is much better than a fire guys really um, ignore the ignore the fire when you've got your furnace furnace is basically for um, getting iron okay but it's not necessary and now you can see we are relaxed with food and we are relaxed with heat and we are safe so all we're gonna do now is focus on gathering okay so I'll probably be ending the episode very soon but I'm just gonna think of a few more tips I can give you and just gather the materials quickly I'm gonna gather the ore and the wood to upgrade I'll see you guys right now right okay my players I'm back and um, I've woken up now just gonna use my last meat here and yes I had a wolf that ch chased me but I got away and um, yeah, I was close to the fire. Unfortunately, I didn't have a stick that was on fire. But, yeah, I was at the fire and the wolf still didn't run away. Okay, so guys, if a wolf ch chases you, make sure you get out of his sight with your sprint. And then go and sleep. Okay, because the wolves attack you at night. The m second most important tip here, guys, is stay in this area until you feel you are ready to take on a wolf if you can't cannot take on one wolf in this area do not go and follow the power lines or do not go to a quest because there you're going to get more than one wolf and you're going to get tough wolves and scary monsters and you're going to die okay the mo i'm going to make another series on the more advanced stuff but these are the basics okay get the furnace up to um, make sure the blizzards don't kill you and waste your food. Always stack up on resources. Always be busy upgrading, all right? And if your items get um, gets full, then all you need is 27 wood and you will be able to make a little chest to keep the items in there that you don't need on you all the time okay which is also very important so i'm going to make the chest and i'm going to make put the chest right down here i don't think yeah i don't think you can pack up the chest guys but it's 27 okay it's 27 so i'm going to put my medic kit in here that's i'm only going to need for emergencies i'm going to put the bone in there and then further my resources aren't too bad but you can put all the items in here until you have extended your backpack with your upgrades as far as possible so that that doesn't become a problem anymore and of course, the way I'm going to end the episode here is when you are, you know, you're hot and happening, rabbits shouldn't be a problem. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have the backup of, um, no, no, don't, don't do that. You don't use the wrong tool. I'm going to make myself some rabbit traps before it becomes night time and it will become night time soon so now I'm I'm in a bit of a crunch here and I'm very lucky that I upgraded you can see I, I can make a better trap but I'm not going to focus on the better trap now I'm going to make about three rabbit traps okay and then I'm going to go look go look for rabbits just going to get my um, my compass right I know I saw a rabbit up here and while I'm looking for a rabbit I am going to be looking for berries as well okay I can take that hog on but uh, it's not necessary for now there's a rabbit there's a rabbit okay so what I'm gonna do this is crunch time here guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the trap. Oh, yep. This is going to be crunch time here, guys. Come on, rabbit. Just go that way. What is this? Is this a mushroom? Yeah, I'm going to eat the mushroom, guys. Even though I might die, it's fine. The, mu the mushroom is going to keep me alive. I don't exactly know where I put the trap down now. And now I'm dying of cold. Okay, 
Okay, get to your map. Oh yeah, I, I went off target quite a bit there. Changed my map so that I know where I'm running to. Why can't I run? Okay guys, I'm probably gonna die here. I don't even think I have any wood. No, I don't have any wood. <laughs> okay, guys, you got the basics. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next series. <laughs> uh, that's quite funny. I'm trying to tell you guys how to survive, and I die myself. But you got the basic idea, guys. Spend more time, you know? Spend more time on the... I, I think I focused on the upgrading too much, so I should have spent more time on the rabbits and the deer. But I showed you how to catch a rabbit, guys. They are supposed to go to the trap automatically. If you place it close enough, but of course you can chase them into the, into the trap, okay? And then of course you can chase uh, a deer into a trap as well, it's a bit more difficult, but rather let him rest, throw him, hit him twice, let him rest, throw him, hit him twice, and that's going to sort out your food. Guys, next time I'll be back for the second series, it'll be more advanced. I'm going to show you how to survive, um, or how to start with your quests, and how to survive there. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm probably going to start over here because with the hard difficulty you lose everything. So I'm going to get myself back out, back to where I was about now and um, just show you guys where you need to be roughly, okay, before you need move to the second, second um, part. I hope it was helpful, guys. If you've got any questions, put it down below for me. And um, yes, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. If you, if you like this video, Please press that like button, guys, and if you want to um, stay up to date with my videos, I'd really appreciate if if you click that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. With us out. Cheers.